Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, social media for social change. In 2006, I started this program, Shorty Program. It's called the Get Shorty Program. I gave it to Governor O'Malley. Governor O'Malley approved the program. Since 2006, I've been locked up in two different states. I've been charged with terrorism. I've been charged with the murder of Scott Greenberg. I've been charged with uh, felony crimes. And I'm innocent of everything. I was making a documentary about Governor O'Malley and his courts. When Governor O'Malley was Mayor O'Malley, he created the O'Malley Mom Machine. Yeah. He all created the Governor O'Malley Mom Machine. Brandon Scott, Corey McRae, Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby, McFadden, Barbara Robinson. Y'all creating generational poverty with this generational wealth, with this generational divide in the black community. When they made that stop snitching video back in 2006, I said I was going to make a snitching video. We're going to show the other side of the drug culture. Show you the money that they make behind the war on drugs. That's why you don't want to end the war on drugs, but you want to talk about the violence every day in Baltimore. I'm from Lake County, Illinois. I participated in the violence. I was a, a master. I was a, a key component in the violence in Lake County, Illinois. I sold drugs. I sold guns. And I shot people. And I did that from 1974 to 1991 I came to Baltimore and I changed my life I went from Waukegan's worst to Baltimore's best and y'all still demonizing me for stuff I did back in the 80s we're gonna make this short and clear like I said I was making a documentary and the documentary can't be completed till we go to court because y'all owe me money I'm out 2.6 million dollars in lost wages because the state participated in fraud Scott Schellenberger Greg Bernstein the city solicitor the state prosecutor, and the controller, Peter Francott. You accept forged checks while I was locked up in the state of Illinois. President Obama asked for an investigation in 2008. Nobody did the investigation. 12 years a slave. Governor Hogan got this. Governor O'Malley got this. Governor Ehrlich had it. Jane Miller got it. Fox 45 got it. Everybody got this that, that needs to have it. And I filed my paperwork with the courts. I'm a jailhouse lawyer, not a jailhouse snitch. I blew the whistle on a government and the judges and the lawyers that get paid to lock up black people from Lake County, Illinois to Baltimore City, Baltimore County. Baltimore City, Baltimore County, um, Lake County, Illinois. Judge Bridges, Judge Rossetti, Judge Hall, been taking payoffs. Judge Foreman, been taking payoffs. And Judge Boris, is the weakest link in this one. Because in 1986, Judge Boris was a state's attorney and he stole $15,000 from a nonprofit. He stole money from Shorty's, the self help organization for the redevelopment, re education of the young. And that 1986 case, the Duffies took my, my, my property. The Duffies took the car. The Duffy took the, the Duffies took the, the Duffies and the Dars took my car, the Cadillac. They took my clothes. Nobody never came up with no money. $15,000 was missing. And the state's attorney had that money. Judge Boris had that money. He was state's attorney Boris. And he was my prosecutor. And he had that money in that book. My, my client list book. My membership book. We had $15,000. And the state stole that money. Never bite the hand that feeds you. I waited till now to bring Judge Boris down. But... Baltimore got involved in it when they locked me up for terrorism, try to cover up Illinois. So I want Judge Boris, Judge Bridges, Judge Rossetti, Judge Hall, Judge Starks, State Attorney Waller, Public Defender Bailey, Public Defender Joyce, Public Defender Karen Levy, because y'all participated in this corruption and this fraud. It's racketeering and fraud like Operation Great Lord in the 1980s. Y'all doing the same shit now in Lake County and Baltimore City. You're making money off the war on drugs and you're using black bodies to do it. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I beat you in court and I told you about this in 86. I waited till now because I was getting ready to retire. I didn't want to do barbecue no more. My store was for sale in 2006 and 2007. I bought a house in Lake County, Illinois. I was moving back to Lake County. I came to file a class action lawsuit. My paperwork is in Governor Hogan's hands. It's in President Trump's hands. 
It's in Brian Frost's hands. It's in Senator Antonio hand. And Senator Antonio Hayes' hands. It's in the Maryland Black Caucus's hands. It's in Vanessa Attenberry's hands. And Delegate Sheila Roof has my whistleblower's application. She also has the transcripts from my trial. Judge Mary Barbera has it too, because I'm a whistleblower on the courts. No part of the government is stronger than the other. It's called checks and balances. So we're going to check yourself. I'm going to show you the racketeering and fraud under Governor O'Malley's administration and the criminal enterprise that he created. Marilyn Mosby has this, and the key to this is the grand jury and accessing the grand jury. And all, that's all I've been asking for since 2008 is to go to the grand jury. I testified in front of the grand jury in 1993, TMP Engineering versus GSA. I blew the whistle on TMP Engineering because I was a contractor. I was a project manager in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the Wanamaker building. The FBI. Yeah, you can check the transcripts and check the paperwork. The owner of TMP Engineering, Dan Wilcox, called me a nigga. And when he called me a nigga, I told him he was going to be the most expensive nigga he know. So I turned him into the government. I also turned uh, a lot of other people into the government, but y'all didn't do nothing about it. In 2010, 2011, I put that toilet in front of the Baltimore City School Board. It was about asbestos and lead and mold in the schools. It was about the misappropriation of funds by the school board in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. I was a private contractor. No, I was a project manager for a lot of the asbestos and lead removal in the state of Illinois, no, in the state of Maryland, Quantico, Virginia, and Annapolis, Maryland. I worked for TNP Engineering. I did the asbestos abatement for the piping in Baltimore City. I know about your, your, your graphing and your money and how y'all skimming money and how y'all spending money in neighborhoods that you shouldn't. I work for the Orioles. I work for the Ravens. I work for 85% of the richest people in this state because I'm a caterer. Never bite the hand that feeds you. Roland Martin knows about this since 2007, 2008. I told y'all I was making a movie and y'all just told me fuck myself because I didn't have the funding. I don't need funding for the movie. I'm using social media because y'all pay attention to TikTok. Y'all take pay attention to Twitter. So I don't have to pay nobody for it. And I don't have to have movie releases. Social media for social change. This ain't my fight. This is our struggle. So in this struggle and in this fight, we're talking about Martin Luther King and the war on drugs. And I put my dog, dog collar on Donald Trump. That's a voodoo down. And this is the voodoo that you do. Because I'm supposed to be in Las Vegas. Ghosts from your past is going to open up doors in my future. Because on November the 28th, 2006 is when Governor O'Malley approved my program. My program is complete and everything I've done is ready to be marketed and distributed. I'm ready for a trial. 2021, I'm asking for the grand jury to indict Scott Schellenberger for kidnapping and abuses of power in his office. If Scott Schellenberger don't get indicted, then we're going to go to the Supreme Court, to Chief Justice Roberts. Under Article 3 of the Supreme Court, Article 3 of the Constitution, I go to the Supreme Court, it's called a writ of sociority. And it's all about your prison industry and your war on drugs. Brandon Scott got it, Nick Mosby got it, Mar Marilyn Mosby got it, Corey McRae got it, Sidnor got it, Brooks got it, Delegate Brooks got it, Cardin's got it, Mikulski got it, all y'all got it. Now you're going to get it. You got it? Ain't no law against making a movie. It is a law against kidnapping. It is a law against filing false papers with the court. It is a law against filing false information with the grand jury, which Scott Schellenberger did. We're going to take my my videos that Rob Fix got and that I, what I got on YouTube and social media against the grand jury menace in Illinois and in Maryland. And when we prove that you lied to the grand jury, you're going to have to compensate me for my losses. The Fifth Amendment of the Constitution says that the conclusion of a trial, if a defendant is filed innocent, I'm supposed to be compensated. My property was taken. You took a videotape in uh, Lake County. That videotape is worth $10 million. I set the price of my property. That videotape was from December the 23rd, the 24th, and the 25th of 2007. It was my Christmas party. And it's also evidence for the trial. Deron Battle is in it. Rob Fix is in it. Jake Davis is in it. 
All right. So my witness list is going to be scandalous. I got 13 movies. Baltimore Rewired is one of the movies. And it's like Baltimore The Wire. Except I ain't got to change nobody's name. When I say Corey McRae, when I say Marilyn Mosby, when I say Nick Mosby, when I say your name, you got to answer to that. And if you got a problem with anything I say about you, call me a liar. We're talking about a criminal enterprise, racketeering and fraud, the criminalization of poverty. You don't want to stop the violence. You don't care about the 300 murders because you're making a lot more money locking up black bodies behind the war on drugs. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. So in 2021, let's go to the grand jury. And then we're going to go to Hollywood. And if we don't go to Hollywood, I can go to Japan. They got film studios in China. They got film studios in Russia. They got film studios in Korea. They got film studio studios everywhere. Hollywood ain't the only one with a picture, with a camera. I got the product. What you going to do? Mic check.